back live, y'all. I'm back live. I'm back live. I need on my glasses. I need to see if y'all gonna come back. Um, I'll have to make this as quick as I can. This is not gonna be long like last time. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking busting up. I know somebody saying don't touch my hair. Well, we're going to be cooking in this video, so I'm going to wait. Thank you, whoever just liked this video. Brian, I see you here first. What's up, what's up, what's up? Okay, it's four of y'all in this live. So, I went live earlier, and I said I was supposed to be cooking with y'all spaghetti and air fryer um, catfish fillets. Well, I ended up, girl, so I ended up signing up to work live ops and i only got an hour to spare girl you're trying to get your belly flat when well, then you need to get some of this <laughs> you need to get some of this i got a playlist on our tlc now i got this fupa fupa doobity do but the top part is what's flat that fupa that's a whole nother story but <laughs> so I was supposed to have came to y'all back to cook everything. Hey, girl, hey. Um, but I got to be back on work on Live Ops in an hour. So, I've already cooked my spaghetti. Hey, girl. I already cooked my spaghetti. I, I'm sorry, y'all, but we're going to be cooking the air fried catfish nuggets. And I'm excited because I've never tried Louisiana. They got I've tried they batter before. But they got some specifically for the air fryer. So I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. I'm going to possibly add a little bit of my favorite um, Andes. Kind of mix it with this. Because this is supposed to be seasoned. But I don't know if it's going to be seasoned how I want it to be seasoned. So it's going to be like a review, I guess, of this. We're going to see what it do, what it do. So... Again, I know I was supposed to make my spaghetti with y'all, but let me show y'all. Uh-oh. So, I've already cooked my spaghetti. Um, I, And I wanted y'all to see this, but I just didn't have time. So, this is ground chicken in here. And then I just added, like, a bell pepper and an onion. And I used um, classico sauce, four cheese, and... I think I did Prego meat or something like that. So, thank you, Brian. So, let me get this out the way. So, yeah, we can ready to get into cooking this um, using this. Now, this entire box um, says two pounds of fish fillets, but it's just me here. So, I only got three, but they big, though. So, even though it says it's seasoned, the season that I will be using is Laurie's A Hint. And when I say a hint, hey, <laughs> he called me Smiley. <laughs> a hint. And when I say a hint of this Cajun seasoning, and of course, my little lemon pepper. So, this video shouldn't, you know, it's going to be a review on this. So, um, this is Louisiana. Excuse me, up. Shoo, excuse me. This is Louisiana. And it says, cooking directions, three easy steps. Rinse two pounds of fish fillets thoroughly in cold ice water. Cold fish completely. Air fryer season coating mix. Shake off excess and plate fish in air fryer basket in a single layer. It says, air fry at 375 for 10 to 15 minutes. Flip fish halfway. Through cooking time, fish should be golden brown and have an um, internal temperature of 145 degrees. Now, it doesn't say anything about spraying no oil or nothing on it. <laughs> I'm a little scared about that. <laughs> We're going to see what's going to happen. So, I don't want it to be salty, but at the same time, I don't know what they mean by season. <laughs> so, you know... Enter at your own risk. I'm not really a person. I don't know if it was a pepper yet. I got my windows open, so I deal with like bad sinus problems. So it's probably something that influenced from outside. I don't wanna, you know, go overboard. Let me 
making some spaghetti. Love the three cheese prego. It's good, girl. And then I was sampling, like, because I had to get my spaghetti just right. And I didn't eat a lot of it. I'm kind of full. <laughs> okay, hold on, y'all. I think it's dirty. Hold on. Okay, it was. It was. So, um, what I did was I put a little bit of seasoning on there just because I don't. I don't know what they mean by season, you know. And these are some pretty thick little fillets. Like I say, I'm not feeding the whole army. It's just me. But I lightly, I'm going to put a little bit of season on this side too. And what I didn't do last time, I'm using the Ninja Air Fryer. And um, hold on, y'all, because my hand's dirty. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold up. Wait a minute. Um, what I didn't do last time that I'm going to do this time, and my mama told me I need to start doing it and I don't, I need to preheat. So, um, and this says 375. Yeah, 375. So, wait a minute, how, how do you preheat? I don't see preheat on her. Yeah, okay, um. We're just going to start it, y'all. But that's basically what I'm using. I don't know what court this is, but I'm going to preheat it for a couple of minutes. So, yeah, that's the... Um, that's what I'm doing. I don't want this to be, you know what I'm saying, too salty because I don't know what they mean by season. I, I don't know. It's going to be seasoned to my liking is the question. <laughs> so... I love um, lemon pepper, so I'm going to do a generous amount of that. I'm going to show y'all. Like, I didn't want to go overboard with it, because like I say, it says, it says season. So, this is how much season I got on here. It's just not a lot. I just did like a little bit. And then, I'm going to, we're going to give, we're going to give Louisiana a try. You don't say nothing about no grease. I don't know how I feel about that. Not like no cooking spray or nothing. To let you know the bag. Maybe they be fooling us with this air, don't they? I'm not going to use all this. Because like I said, I only got... I only got... I only got three pieces of fish, so... I'm just going to put a little bit in there. And if y'all just tuning in, I'm going to let y'all know what's up with this. They got air fryer mixed with pork chops and chicken. So I got this at Walmart. And I didn't see any of the other flavors. So all I saw was the fish. Okay, let me show y'all. I might keep my fingers crossed that I don't have too much seasoning in my stuff. Because it honestly looks like it's going to be seasoned real good. So look. I feel like I feel like it's gonna be seasoned real good. Y'all can't really see it, the lighting, but it's like pep and stuff in there. So ooh, I feel like it's gonna be seasoned real good, and I like I like crispy fish, and I know they didn't say this. like crispy fish and I know it didn't say this but I got some olive oil spray so I did that I'm, I am I am gonna put some Andes in here and um the Andes look about the same um the Andes look about the same as this so um let y'all know what's up so it just said coated which is what I'm doing. A generous amount of coating. Like I said, this, I feel like this will be enough to do like, um, two pounds in that one little box. And then it's only me here. So 
feel like all of them can fit in her. And then it says we're going to cook this on 10 to 15 minutes and then halfway. I did preheat it. I did. I just, my mom told me to do that because I don't do that. I just, you know what I'm saying, put it on and keep it moving. But I want to get the batter all between. Um, so, yeah, this is basically I battered the entire piece. And if this is a winner, y'all. Okay, so I battered the first one. The fish is really sticking to the batter. And I ain't put no egg or nothing on it. And it, you know what I'm saying? It's sticking really good. But I am going to spray that. Because I want my fish crisp. You know what? I'm going I'm to follow directions. From. <laughs> I'm going to follow directions first. But just in case it don't crisp up like I want it to. I do have, um... Some olive oil spray on standby. Two. So, I'm going to show y'all how I got these in here. So, yeah, y'all. Other than that, um, I really, really, really did want to prepare my um, spaghetti with y'all. But, I've been trying to get on live off for the past couple of weeks. And, when them times pop up on that schedule, baby, I'm taking them. But, at least I could do this fish because, you know what I'm saying... Oh, and then later on this week, I'm going to do some salmon, some rice, and some asparagus. So, and that's going to be some, um, either teriyaki glazed or, um, honey glazed. So, I feel like I got it breaded enough, and I don't want this video to be too long. Shout out to all of y'all for supporting me, supporting my channel. I've uh, been trying to bring cooking to y'all because that's what I love to do. Okay. So. Let me show you all. Let me wash my hands. Okay. So, let me show y'all what it's looking like. So, yeah, it's, it's seasoned very good. And for those that's just tuning in, this is the Louisiana Air Fryer um, Season Cody Mix for Fish. And I just have three fillets in there. It does not call for any oil or anything. I got this on standby if it don't crisp up like I wanted to. If it makes some crispy fish, I need to get some of those. And I've always wanted to try asparagus. I'm going to tell you. Yes, you know what? I you didn't used to be a fan of asparagus. But one time, I think me and my mama had went to like... Um, me and my mama went to like a dinner or something and they had asparagus. The way that you know how they cook it at a restaurant, it be steamed. Well, the way my mama cook hers and how she taught me to cook it, you can do it one of two ways, which is the way we do it. You all, you butter a, a pan, like a glass pan. You lay your asparagus in the glass pan. Then you kind of season it a little bit and put some Parmesan cheese in there. Put it in the oven, bake it, baby, baby, it'll save your life. It's so freaking good that way. I haven't made it another way, but it's fine just be good, you know what I'm saying, if it's prepared right. So, I feel like we're going to see what this do. And if this is good, y'all, I had to go to a Walmart out my way to get this. <laughs> if this is good... I'm excited to see. I haven't did shrimp yet. But if this is good, I'm going to clear the shelf. So, of course, this is going to last me a minute because I only did. Um, and then this is what I got left, which I probably, you know what I'm saying, I added that Andy's in there. But you don't need a lot for this. So, I'm going to put the Andy's in this box and put... Louisiana in there already I smell it it smells so freaking good I figured this would be something different and um you know later on this week yeah y'all it's smelling good I'm trying not to look I can already smell it okay I can already smell it so again I know this is off the subject but this brand of cornbread <laughs> Hi, Mama Tish. So today, I was supposed to have been doing um, 
my spaghetti with y'all and my fish, but I had already cooked my spaghetti, so let me show y'all. This is spaghetti with um, ground chicken, and I did two kind of um, sauce, classico, and I think that's um, prego, the meat sauce, because here got one of the meats that was in the prego. But yeah, this is a bell pepper and an onion, two kind of sauce. And I cooked that about, I cooked that about an hour ago. So, because the reason I didn't do both on camera with y'all is because when I initially went live earlier and I told y'all I was going to come back and cook with y'all, um, I didn't have, you know what I'm saying, I didn't have live ops at that time. I only had like 30 minutes. Well, after the live was over, like two hours popped up there that I can work. So I was like, dang, I ain't gonna be able to do both the spaghetti. And then when I saw I had like an hour gap, so I don't get back on there for another 45 minutes. I was like, well, at least I could do my fish. Well, let me show y'all what it's looking like. And it's doing exactly what I knew it was gonna do. I'm sorry, I'm not following directions. I want this to be crisp. So I'm spraying it. Hands down, I want it crispy. I'm not, I just saw how I was looking at the three minutes. So yeah, thank you, Mama Tish, for telling me to hit the like button. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not doubting that it probably wouldn't have crisp up. I've watched plenty of YouTube videos about cooking stuff in the air fryer and if you want it to crisp up on your batter, you spray some olive oil or some type of spray and that's exactly what I did. So yeah, um, this is on today's menu. I'm just gonna eat it with like a, um, a piece of garlic bread and I might make a little bitty salad. I don't know. Y'all, I kind of got a sweet tooth. I've been, like, yesterday was Halloween. So, I had spent time with my family. Yes, okay? I don't care what brand it is. And just that quick, it had just transformed. I knew it. That's why I was like, I'm all for, you know what I'm saying? I, I will, you know what I'm saying? Um, I understand it's for air fryers, but I don't think it's going to... I want it to give me that crisp as if I took it out the grease. I haven't fried anything other than a hamburger, some bacon. Oh, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for saying that. Peace and blessings to you. Girl, I will send you a cyber plate. <laughs> I watched um, church this morning. And for the last couple of weekends, I have been missing it. Girl, I'm gonna have you a play bread. We have us some little garlic bread and stuff like that. <laughs> I watched church this morning. And I need to turn my fish off. Hold on. Oh, I'm about to turn these over, y'all. Hold on. Look at that. They are crisping up. Let me flip it over and show y'all. None of the batter came off. Uh oh, I don't want to break it, y'all. Hold on. Now, what I am going to do, because I see some of this um, don't have no batter on it. I'm going to pat a little batter on there. Just because I feel like it was lacking a little bit. And I, I, I breaded it, but so I'm going to dab that on there. And I'm going to dab that on there. It's fine. 
But as you can see, it is crisping up. So, hold on, y'all. Okay, so. I'm going to spray some more of my spray. Okay, Louisiana. House don't smell like fish in my life. <laughs> House don't smell like fish. That's that look good, y'all. If you ever saw this in the store, if you ever saw this in the store, this is what I'm using today to make my catfish fillets. Y'all, the way that fish is looking. Don't it look good? Hey, Charlene, girl. Hey, girl. Didn't that fish look good? Shh, better. <laughs> look. Look. I've been eating good since I moved here. <laughs> Shoot. That fish look good. That fish looked good. Hold on, y'all. Let me get some water. But I kind of... Oh, y'all. This is not sponsored, but Louisiana Fish Fry Products. If y'all want to sponsor me, I'm letting the people know this is looking just like that picture. They also sell air fryer chicken batter and air fryer pork chop batter. And it said $375, which is what I got it on. Y'all. It already came seasoned, but the, the test is going to be when I taste it. Hold on, y'all. Okay, let's check this fish out. After I thought I flipped it over. Hold on. Bye bye. Come through fish. Come through fish. I want it a little bit more crisp. Come through. Look at that child. Come through our fried fish. Can y'all see that? Look, the only reason I got a ninja. Girl, the only reason I got a Ninja Air Fryer is because this advertisement popped up on Facebook and they was frying stuff and it looked really good. And I was going to, you know, that made me buy it. Because I don't, Ninja products ain't cheap. I did four pays of $20. Um, hold on, y'all. Y'all, that fish looks freaking amazing. I'm great. Flip it over again. Hold on, y'all. Come through, fish. Come through. <gasps> it broke. That mug's so... Oh, it flipped. It broke. Hold on, y'all. I'm still trying to use some tones. Ooh, y'all. I'm trying to flip. <laughs> Wait a minute. I want this to be a little bit more crispy, y'all. Ooh. This is in the air fryer. The air fryer fryer do y'all understand this the air fryer i'm gonna add some more time i'm also gonna up it to 390 because on here it says fish 390 so i up that air fryer and i was gonna get you know any air fryer at this point but facebook got me again Facebook got me for this water bottle. 
Facebook got me for this air fryer. Facebook be getting me for a lot of stuff. Facebook got me getting goalie gummy drops. Oh. Girl. <laughs> Y'all been talking about my lab. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. I don't want nobody to chime in and say I ain't doing nothing. I'm going to the air fryer. Hold on real fast. <laughs> okay y'all I'm back I'm sorry I had to make sure one time for me to work yet <laughs> Damn. these catfish fillets <laughs> Ooh, yeah. oh. let me get a little plate or a little bowl or something I'm gonna just put them on this plate and let y'all see. Okay, for those just tuning in, today, air fryer catfish fillets using the Louisiana. Whoo, that air fryer. <laughs> and for those just tuning in, get this and freaking thank me later. Now, on I follow the directions for like five minutes. You want your fish crispy? Spray this on your stuff. Wait till I show y'all this. It's done now. I want y'all to hear it. Do y'all see that? Can y'all hear that? Sizzling. These mugs was cooked in the air fryer. I'm about to take them out. First one. Hold on, y'all. Let me get these out because I need both hands. Hold on. Yes, <laughs> Keisha, get you one. Look at this. Y'all know I'm about to take that right. Baby, I'm in here doing dances, cartwheel. The air fryer made these. Do y'all hear that? Amazing. These are freaking delicious. If y'all don't get y'all want an air fryer, it don't even gotta be ninja. Like I said, the only reason I got ninja is because ninja popped up on the Facebook ad. Baby, I get ninja's cousin at this point. <laughs> I don't care who it is. This stuff is freaking delicious. 
Yeah, so I'm putting your plate up right now. When I tell y'all, if y'all don't get y'all an air fryer, I don't care what brand it is. And let me show y'all that the stuff that's in there, like that we not putting in our body. Oh, I can't get this out of here. Okay. Ain't no grease in there. Just that little bit. Come on, y'all. If y'all don't get y'all no air fryer. So this is the end <laughs> of the air fryer meal. <laughs> I got to be on work in, in 10 minutes. But I appreciate y'all tuning in. If you ever wanted to, you know what I'm saying, you can do Andy's or this. I, I just think it's Andy's. Finna blow the horn in a minute. All right. All right, Mama Tish. I feel like this ain't nothing but Andy's cousin. I feel like Andy's could have did the same thing. But if you don't have Andy's in your state, get you some of this and thank me later. Both of them is on that fish right there. Let me show y'all one more time for the one time for the two times. Okay, y'all. Let's see. I'm eating that with this spaghetti that I made. And... A little garlic bread. Look at that, y'all. I made that in the air fryer. Any air fryer do. That looks freaking amazing. Facebook be not. Yeah, they do. They sneaky and they nosy. I hate. Now, I guarantee you when I go on Facebook after this, it's going to show me an air fryer. I'm going to be like, I already got an air fryer. I'm eating Swiss cheese and grapes right now. You know what? Speaking of grapes and speaking of Swiss cheese. Girl, you got me wanting a little snack real quick. <laughs> Baby. I get a pineapple. And let it sit there. Thank everyone for tuning in to the live today. All my moderators is in here. How can I become a moderator, you asked? Number one spoiler right there. They always come through. I'm going to y'all this moderator. I don't, but I got some grapes. I don't have no Swiss cheese, but I bet that's good. Right? So. I thank y'all for tuning in today and watching me make this fish. I'm done cooking early. I'm going to get on here make this money. I won't be cooking Monday. I'm going to have leftovers. Most likely, I'm going to either cook Tuesday or Wednesday. But if I do, when I do cook later on this week. All right, some cheese and grapes that's sweet and salty together. Girl. And let me go to the store and get there. Like I said, I'm going to cook some, um, I might do like, I watched this girl video today. She made her own Big Mac. Now, I've been wanting me a Big Mac. But me and McDonald's ain't friends because... Every time I go to McDonald's, they give me some old food. So I think I'm gonna make Big Macs this week. Um, I got all I gotta get is some. I got cheese. All I gotta get is some um, Thousand Island and a couple of more little items. But that girl made a Big Mac, and it looked freaking amazing. So thank you for tuning in, y'all. Again, this is what we eating tonight. Catfish fillets and spaghetti. You know what? I don't, but it, it just made me want a Big Mac so bad after watching the girl's video. <laughs> okay, bye y'all. Love y'all. See y'all later. Thank you for watching. If you just tuned into this video, let me know if y'all gonna try it. If you're watching this after it's over, get that and thank me later. Bye. <laughs>